Okay, this is uh, a special uh, second August meeting of the Energy Commission, um, uh, and we've already approved the minutes. Um, we are now going on to approve expense to pay for repair of the Smith Boat PV array. Um, so most of you guys heard, is everybody up to date on this? Who, who's not? You, okay, so um, uh, the PV array went down to a very low power output um, uh, without any notification to us and sat that way for a while. And the reason why um, is either the fan either burned out um, or the screen got clogged enough to burn the fan out. Um, uh, and then the array ran for a while, a very hot summer time, and eventually the core of the inverter um, actually got damaged as well. So, um, Selectric came out. Uh, I was arguing that, uh, I mean, in talking to them, they fully admitted that fan, these fans do burn out. They, they're arguing, you know, the capacitor will go off. So, um, uh, at first they wanted us to, they wanted to split the cost of the inverter and, pay, and we pay for the fan and the labor coming out here. And I said, you know, there's, you fully admitted that these fans go bad. We do not know what caused this to go bad. You know, uh, there was some clogging of the, of the screen. Um, but with that, we managed to get them, they, were, they paid for the full core uh, improvement. So that was the bigger of the two costs. But they said, we want you to pay for the fan and the cost of coming out to do the repair. So the fan is separate from the inverter? It's in the inverter. It's in the inverter. It's, so it's, part well, of the it's, inverter. In, it's in the inverter box. So it's part of the inverter assembly? It is. Do they have a 10 year warranty on it? They do. But they wanted to claim that it was a maintenance issue, and so it was outside the warranty. Um, with us, Having the, you know, and for we we decided that with the revenue stopped in the moments, you know, we're wonderful sunny, beautiful long summer days, and we're not producing any revenue off of it. Uh, so we could either do a protractive argument or we could just get this thing fixed. And I, I said, now if I chose just get it fixed. Um, uh, so that's what we did. And the mayor is approved using the money from the Energy and Sustainability Revolving Fund uh, to pay for the piece that um, we had to pay. The thing is up and running now, so it's fixed, it's up and running, it's producing again. Um, and then, so we just need the Energy Commission to approve uh, the same uh, funds. I make a motion that we approve to spend towards the $2,200. You want to just use the language I up before? Okay, yeah, 20, uh, $2,300. They really, Quite frankly, is an exorbitant labor cost. This is what it is. It's, a, it's there's a standard. Come out here, that's how much you get. Boom. 180 hours. I'm not even sure what it was. It was a four hour minute, and I pushed back on the travel. I said, Look, you've got to come out and fix your piece of it anyway. I'll split it with you. And they said, We're giving you this. And I went back and forth with their service manager. And it's like, Fine, guys, we're losing revenue on this. Come out here and fix it. The Simco array funds the revolving fund. It does. That's what the money's for. Yeah. Right, exactly. <laughs> right. It's, 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 right, you know, right. It's, if we hadn't done it, we probably would have lost this much money. Speed. Yeah, we may have lost this much money and, and lost revenue. We would be just sitting there. So, unfortunately, we lost revenue, too. Um, to the tune of okay. enough to pay for this repair in two or three months. Um, yeah, probably. We, I mean, we, we were down for probably right around four weeks. Um, uh, right in the middle of summer. So, um, uh, on, I mean, on the flip side, we have sold the Estrex for the 2015, um, a future sale of the Estrex at a really good price. Uh, so we're actually going to bring in annually as much as we've been bringing in annually from that array anyhow. Um, we're just kind of sacrificing um, some, you know, actually bringing in more than we normally have. So, uh, so we still have Well done on that. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, thanks. Yeah. The price is just high. Yeah. And someone's going to be managing it. Um, right. um, yeah. Yeah, we can step up with this I believe what. Yeah, I believe what happened here was that John Kelly, that was kind of like his pet. Uh, you know, he really liked that array, and he got it. He's the one that got it all going. And, and so. Um, you know, I don't think we ever formally set up, here's what kind of maintenance has to happen. John just did it, and then John retired. And I think it just fell through the cracks. We didn't really identify a new maintenance uh, record. So, you know, if, if it was because it clocked, 
uh, then, and, and even if it wasn't, we should be, you know, cleaning the screen and making sure to do that as well. At least before you come. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Procedural question. You said the mayor approved use of the revolving funds, and we're now needing to approve it as well. Is that the yeah, that's, normal that, protocol that's requires to approve it? Does. The mayor first, then us? Um, it requires it two. Go it could go either way. The mayor really likes to be the one to give the first approval. Okay. Yeah. So he's asked to be approached first. So. Any further discussion? Um, let's see. Uh, we have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Okay. Well, uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. I can't vote. Okay, great. Okay, letter to speak with the Leo. This is something that came up at last meeting. Um, and I just kind of blasted one out. You guys have all seen it. Um, uh, I have to say, I didn't think it was my clearest letter I've ever written, and Scott actually had <laughs> said, yeah, it's not that clear. <laughs> Some good reasons why. Um, uh, so, so I'm not sure. Here's Scott provided some feedback, which I don't think I can take because I think it removes some very key points. But um, I'll, I'll open it up for discussion. Does anybody feel that this is good enough to send in? Um, should I um, work on it a little bit more? Um, this is the new vice president. Uh, that's actually Scott's comments. Yeah. I really spend a lot of time working on it because letters like this, decisions that have to are written so perfectly anyway. It's not like a like the language here. We don't even know who the part goes. I would suggest that, um, and I'd be willing to do this, is to call, uh, get a book on this office and find out where this is in the process. So I'm sure there's no pressure if this. And the extra out of the larger bill, I'm sure he was on that. I don't think the is still the same. But I wouldn't spend a lot of time mm -hmm. wordsmithing this thing. Okay. The basic thing is we, we support it, we want it to move as quickly as possible. And then, and, and uh, Paul, the reason it got kind of less than clear is as I looked into it, I realized that if we said, just move it along quickly, then we were almost implying that we were supporting Baker's idea that once we hit the 1600 me uh, megawatt uh, yeah. goal, that we reduce the net metering capability. And and I said, that's really premature. That, you know, we just simply, no one has looked at who's, what is the value of solar to them. And I know the commissioners believe that solar provides a, a value to the grid. So one of the questions I have, I'm not sure that's actually, is that in the actual bill? Well, yes. That's just yes. That's that is that's in, that's in Baker's that's ba that's in Baker's bill that he uh, uh, sent to the house. That's my understanding is now being put put into the you know, combined with the omnibus bill. Uh, so I wanted to say remove it. And Chris, just a question. Okay. In that actual bill with this suggestion in 2017, is he actually saying we do reduce the net metering, or is yes. he saying say definitely reduce? Yes. What, once you hit that 16. Uh, once you hit the 1600 to 1600 megawatts of solar installed, he then says basically go from a wholesale rate to a retail rate. Um, basically, you, you no longer can net meter distribution. He just takes it out completely. Um, says you know you can get you can get the cost of your electricity back, uh, the supply cost, but you can't get anything. So we talked about this the last time. What happens to those projects going on? Yeah. The ones that drop. Um, everybody that gets net metering will get net metering at whatever. You know, so if, you know, if we got it now, we would continue to net meter to wholesale Forever. for 20, 20 years. years. He actually 20 years. He actually put a cap on 20 years too. So, so that means right. after 20 years, you got a PV array, and suddenly, you know, I can raise all I want in the summer. I can't use it in the winter. It's rather ridiculous to ever take net meter away. You know, any any way you would just take it away completely after 20 years. So there are a lot of issues. So I didn't think we could apply imply that we wanted to go with the Baker bill. I thought we could imply, you know, move this thing out, get that piece passed, everything else, take it off, and deal with it separately. You know, give yourself time to review it all and deal with it separately. That's what we're requesting. And that's what I tried to put in to the letter, and it wasn't clear to letter. But I think it's really a clear situation, and it's so a clear letter, probably very soon. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what I thought too. The letter it deserves. <laughs> right, exactly. Right, right. right. It's, it's, there's so much, you know, so many con, con, 
about contradictory statements from you know in the same speech. So, yeah. And uh, I'm not positive exactly what bill number is being considered and how it might be changed. So I couldn't really be very specific. But are we asking that the net metering portion of the omnibus be pulled out and created a clean new bill? That's what I'm not clear. What are exactly are we asking? Well, look, I don't. I don't think I could ask. I don't know how to ask them to do that. I, but I am asking them to pull it out. Okay. Yes. Yes. Because that's what didn't come clear in the letter. Like you're yeah. saying the omnibus bill is dragging the whole thing down. But what's the answer? Right. And I also try to say in the letter that if you keep the after the 1600 megawatts provision in there, I think that's going to drag the, the bill down because the, the Senate's going to fight okay. that. So again, what's the so alternative? There's, there's Pull it two. out yeah. and eliminate the 1600. Right. So yeah. everybody agrees that until we get to 1600 megawatts, the, uh, the governor agrees, the Senate agrees, mm -hmm. once we, uh, until we get to 1600 megawatts, we have a wholesale price on that meter and the cap just goes up. Pass that. You know, that's basically what I'm saying. Just take okay. that piece out. Everybody agrees on that. Pass it. We need it now. So pass the Senate. Yeah, so the passing Senate version would be to totally me that's fine. Clear and clean I could I could uh, adjust that. I could put that in there. I could say that you know. All the other discussion is still relevant, but right. I would just at least end this with this is what we would ask. Okay, I'd be happy with just uh, putting that in. You know, that the, the Energy Commission supports the Senate the, the, the Senate okay. version. Yeah. Okay, I could make that edit. Okay. Any further discussion? Is there a CC with some sort? Ah. Mayor? Um, Senator Coca or uh, Representative Coca? You can tell me where you want to tell me where you want to send. Well, it's one of the speaker of the House of States, the House of Representatives. So we should go to Peter. And okay. Peter should see it. At a minimum, you might as well send it to stand. Peter. Mayor. Sure. Anybody else? And just send Senator Rosenberg. Yeah. Stand Rosenberg. Okay. And you've got that that one title. Yeah, and, um, <laughs> I mean, I, I'm ambivalent about whether I mentioned federal this or the this or that. That was just trying to show that there was actually a window. Uh, see, if the net metering cap keeps getting pushed back, we might not get a project. Uh, if, oh, if it gets see. pushed back so far, in time. right? Yeah, yes. what? Well, yeah, it, you know, right? Right now, we have a problem in the front end. The tax credits are a problem in the back end, and so that window of opportunity. That's basically just trying that's to show the for us. Right, that's the urgency. Right, we can't just push this off till next year because it probably won't happen. Then. Does this have a little more bones if it comes to the mayor's letterhead? Um, the energy and sustainability commission has requested for my office. Sure, we could. I'm going to ask the mayor. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, I'll do that. You're saying that wants to send it to the newspaper too. Anything I would. Say and this is totally optional. Is uh, I always like to kind of add some statistics. So Northampton Energy and Sustainability Commission representing 30,000 residents in such and such county. Uh, they say we've got X number of installed capacity, and considering uh, X number of more capacity, so we've got to get that more more player. Yes, uh, I mean, right. <laughs> I think I do say that through. I say multi megawatt. Yeah. Right. I didn't want to just put an actual number out there because we have that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not designed to. Right. Thank you. Right. Um, uh, sure, I can do that. I mean, does the commission represent 30,000? I actually was thought about that and I kind of said, hmm, we're not all elected. You know, we're appointed by the by an elected official. Does that mean that we represent? It's true. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Well, it would affect residents. Yeah. No, so, yeah. Yeah. And, and then I, I forwarded you that, that newsletter I got from the community solar saying they've got projects ready to break ground. Yes. Okay. And there are a handful of people right. sitting waiting for that meeting to be resolved so that that project can yeah. Okay. It's a significant project in Williamsburg. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, okay. It's a small handful of North Hampton residents. Sure. I'm I mean, one. Okay, Bet between the two, uh, uh, between Darren and, and your comment, I'm sure I can put something in that kind of puts a little more uh, meat behind that. Yeah. Uh, Darren, if you want to shoot me a suggested uh, intro sentence, um, and then I can add Scott's piece to it. 
wonderful. Yeah. Great. Check out some numbers. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know the numbers, so I'll just you know, put that to see. Right. And, and I think, I think Paul's, Paul's point is a good point. We don't want to pretend to us on that one. Which actually, in a given period of time, I think I did it for uh, public safety. Because they want to know like, who's, which roof they have to be careful about. So, so I think I would just email it to Chris. OK. Whether you use it or not. For the letter. Oh, yeah. toss it. <coughs> just the number. Gotcha. OK. Now, okay, wait, not. Chris, when you talk to the mayor about so much on their plates about you know, so many different issues, not just this one. But it's important to just keep this way in front and the urgency. I know they both feel that, but you know, they get caught in the way that they see 50 other things. And this is really a pretty urgent thing that happens. And I've seen this happen. People lose sight of that. And even the mayor's got 20 other things going on. It's just to make sure this is to everybody. This is pretty significant. Okay. Um, I will do that. So to sum up, uh, uh, CC, uh, Peter Stan, and the mayor asked the mayor if he would like to actually uh, send the letter, ask the mayor to uh, call our reps on this, um, uh, ask the mayor if he wants to send this to the paper, I'm going to add in um, kind of representing 30,000 people or so. Uh, to make it a little bit more, um, to give it a little more weight, uh, and any kind of other PV arrays is always going to send me a Scott Center yeah, already counted. It's a big number. And lastly, to say uh, this, we like to send it. Out. And la lastly, lastly, okay, the Gazette here. I hope this is a front page article soon. It's that important for this town and for towns around us. This is huge, and I'm surprised it hasn't been like a bold front page headlines. You probably have a great story. All right. Um, uh, are any further discussion? All in favor of the letter? Right. Okay. Okay. All is approved. So who uh, made the motion? I did. I made the motion. I made the motion. Who did? Who did? Who said? Who said? Mary Paul. I can't remember. Uh, I'm Paul. I can have Paul. Oh, Anyone? Paul. Yes, I'm Paul. 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 Mary. Okay. Paul. Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, and solar array over the parking lot in the central business district. Blue, I'm going to let you. Uh, there's, um, there's, there's been an initial, the, the beginnings of a proposal for a pretty significant array over one of the parking areas in the central business district. It's not the first one in town, but it's the first commercial one that, that I've seen, and uh, I think it's pretty serious. And the central business architecture commission is going to review it, and I want to be able to go to them and recommend uh, and let them know that the commission supports it and that um, solar panels over a parking lot are quite attractive um, because that's a lot of what they're looking at. And I think that we can, uh, it's behind, uh, I think it's 71 King Street, um, the, the uh, Wayland's building. Wayland's yeah, the Peter Wayland's building in back of it. It is going to be visible from the street. And that's one of the criteria that they use. Uh, but it also is a transitional residential building, which generally they don't review changes on. And, you know, to have them touting it as well as, as us. So I'm going to be at the meeting. I want to say that the commission is in favor. It is your right. Say, well, how big is the array? Um, I forget. Big. Bigger than somebody said it was small. I think it's bigger. I think it's not going to be an insignificant array because the one, I, they, they laid it out pretty effectively. There's quite a lot of work here. Are the butters going to be uh, protesting anything? The church? I don't think so. The goblins and the goblins building. Well, the church. Did a bad thing already. The, um, the, they tore down the parish hall. I know they talked about a building with solar on it. Place the parish hall. Is the city responsible for plowing that one? No, it's a private one. No, it's a completely private.
right. And how does that mirroring affect this one? I think it would be the same, same focus. Yeah, right. With the same window of opportunity. Right. Um, Maybe that's a message to carry too that this would be affected by that mirroring the commission has been advocating for. And, and you know, I think if it, I think if it starts, it, it'll begin to it'll catch, it'll get it'll gain some momentum because uh, I know there's a couple of people that can talk about it behind them, on the off the button shop and to uh, talk about it, the north end of the parking area. Mm -hmm. There is some parking that it's a private parking. Yeah, it's uh, there's a, it's for that business. I I don't know if they lease the parking, but it, that. Built, the, big, the building is quite a large building and it's filled with offices. Uh, and the parking area from the Google Earth view of it looks like it's got a lot of cars in it. So that was August of 2013 or May of 2014. So, it wasn't really long. so you're looking for the commission uh, general support of just these systems or this specific This product? specific system as the first one and then the canvas system. Motion as I wrote it, that work? Yes. Okay. So you want to read it off? I don't have my glasses. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where they went. Bottom motion. Here's the motion. Motion to support the concept of installing a canopy mounted PE array over a parking lot in the central business district and to empower Louis Gasper, Northampton's building commissioner, to, to relate such support to members of the central business district. And no zoning. Required. No, no it, it meets the zoning, it meets the, the specific it's requirements right. of the zoning, so yeah. there's not any question about that. Yeah, PV is as of right over any parking lot or driveway. Mm -hmm. You're in central business? Yes. All districts, specifically put into all district um, use of dimensional tables. And so the architectural review. Central Business Architecture Commission review. They review any significant changes to, to uh, certain kinds of buildings and uh, and structures that are visible from the public. And, and they have the ability to override something. Is that what that means? They have a lot of authority. They have a lot, they have a lot of authority. authority. They have the they ability have to own design issues, or which could kill a project or site. Yeah. Okay. But this yeah. one doesn't require a zoning. It doesn't require zoning, but it's the zoning they does design. They have right, so right, right, you can kill right. it just through those things. So they just support it. I, I mean, I think they're going to move ahead and say, okay, but I think what we're always asking for is to say, well, we support this, it's important to do it because there is a possibility they could say you need to do X, Y, and Z. Yeah, you need to lower the height or raise the height. Suddenly, it's, you, know, you can't go. So, you yeah, know, I think that there's so a lot of separate That's the first separate separate mark. Uh, yeah, yes, so I agree. Not yep. zoning. That's an important distinction. We're not we're not showing any well, let's say preferential treatment, but this this project is no different than any other canopy parking system anywhere in the district. Those would still be reviewed. Yeah. Right. So but but we would not have any reason to support any other and more or less than this one. It's it's more the concept rather than this particular project. I keep going it's, with general like it's, it's written up. Written. Well I actually I don't remember if it was it, it just says in the central business. That's fine. That's you fine. know, when they did lumber yard and then the, the uh, lodging house projects, uh -huh. um, people came in and supported them. The uh, Peg Keller, who does housing, came and from her position and supported the mm -hmm. projects, and uh, as did the planning uh, staff, planning office staff, uh, and so. And my, I don't have the authority, but I can go and point out that zoning, the planning board uh, put the zoning, put it in as a right for zoning in the district, and uh, and that the, the energy commission supports it and the building department supports it. Actually, as of right, it's town water statewide. It's not just yes. yeah. It got put into every single zoning district. And, and, and also the city actually is looking at putting PV arrays over several parking lots ourselves. Uh, okay. Right. That's what would be interesting to assure you that that's a, right. a follow-up to hear their feedback, uh, to hear their input. 
or what is their statement about this is it designed so that for the future people know so you can you can report that to us right now we can see that okay Mary move the motion uh, do we have a second uh, Scott seconded uh, any further discussion all in favor uh, I think I will accept the motion to adjourn. <laughs> Isn't that it, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah.